Okay, our next present presentation is from Clifton McKee. He's a PhD student in ecology in his third year, and he knew he wanted to study ecology when he took an ornithology class that opened his eyes to the diversity of nature. His title today is Bad Roommates, in Inferring Bacterial, Bacterial Infections in Co-Infected Individuals. I'm certain that everyone here has been sick with some sort of infection. There's even a good chance that somebody here has a cold or the flu right now. Yet something we don't always appreciate is that we Americans typically only get one infection at a time, either a cold or the flu. In contrast, co-infection, or infection with multiple agents at the same time, is very common in some populations and in much of the developing world. And when we look at animals in nature, co-infection is so common that it appears to be the rule. Multiple infections can have both positive and negative effects on each other and their host's health. In some cases, multiple infections can interact to cause more serious disease symptoms because they compromise the host's immune system. In other cases, one infection can decrease the probability of getting another one because the immune system is already primed for a fight. For example, individuals with AIDS are more likely to get the, bacterial, ba the bacteria that causes tuberculosis and die from it. On the other hand, individuals who had malaria in the last Ebola outbreak were less likely to get the Ebola virus. By studying co-infections, we can begin to understand the strength of these interactions and possibly, possibly devise new therapies that can best complement their host's immune system. My research focuses on the co-infection dynamics of bacteria in African fruit bats. These bats can be infected with six different types of, ty types of bacteria that grow in their red blood cells. These bats are a great system to work with because they're so frequently co-infected and their infections last a very long time. With long-term dynamics, we can start to understand the mechanism of their interactions. Using blood samples collected from a captive colony of bats over three years, I can measure the presence of different bacterial types over time. And with statistical models, I can infer the strength of their interactions. That is, does the presence of one bacterial type increase or decrease the probability of getting infected with another one? If there are a large number of negative interactions, this may indicate that the bacteria are competing with one another for access to red blood cells. This research on bats could help us understand why so many animals and people are co-infected. And with knowledge of disease interactions, doctors could devise new therapies that require fewer drugs because they encourage the negative interactions between infections, like competition. This research could help decrease the burden of, of infectious diseases worldwide and may even help you with that cold. Thank you. <laughs> 